Hi everyone! In this video I would like to share with you about Montessori's fourth principle which is avoiding extrinsic or external motivation. And if we do it, how then do we help children to develop internal motivation which will last them a lifetime? Just to recap on the fourth principle, Montessori believes that giving rewards for children are not really necessary and we should not even think about giving them rewards because they are not, children are not really looking for rewards from us. Now what happens when you start giving them rewards is that it becomes a habit. They will start doing things only because they are expecting a reward from you. Whether the reward is in the form of stickers or whether it is stars or whether words of praise, they only then get motivated because they are looking forward to this reward from you. And then one day if the reward is no longer good enough for them or you know you withdraw the reward or you stop giving them the reward their motivation level drops now this is not what we want we want them to have self motivation and you know that will help them throughout their life so how then can we help them develop this self motivation now every child is born with a desire to learn that is a fact they are curious they love to explore, discover, and they ask, they grow up asking so many questions. And that's how just how children are. And understanding this, what Montessori did was she prepared an environment for them. Her environment, she called it the prepared environment. And it is just what that is. I mean, it was so carefully prepared that it provides a lot of opportunities for children to discover and to learn and to explore and to succeed as well. So it doesn't matter what they explore with, all the materials are there to help them to succeed. So if you walk into a Montessori uh, environment, what you will notice is that the place is so beautiful, there is beauty in the environment and then you know it's, it's a place where children walk in and they want to spend hours in that environment. And on also, the materials are, you know, there's an order in the, in the whole environment. The materials, every material has got a place and everything is in its place. Everything is neat, tidy and perfect. So if a child has to go there the second time and wants to find something, he knows exactly where it is. And in the environment, there are also so many materials that... And each material can be explored in many different ways. So there are just a lot of things that the child can do with those materials. Each material also teaches several concepts to the children. So it doesn't matter what the child is working with, the learning is always in progress. There is this internal drive in children that allows them to continue to explore and as they explore they learn. And when a child enters a Montessori classroom, they are not told you know, don't touch this, don't touch that, or this is what you should do, or this is how you should do. They're given freedom. They're given the freedom to move around and explore with which material they're interested in. They can choose the material, so there's a freedom of choice as well. They can also choose to work with the material, whether they're seated on the floor or on, or they want to bring it to the table and work with it, whatever suits them. They are also given the freedom to work with each material as long as they want to without any interruption. The teacher in fact takes care to see that the children are not interrupted when they're working with the materials. There's also freedom to make mistakes and they learn from their mistakes. So since you know the teacher do not tell them what to do or how to do, they make mistakes and they slowly learn to correct those mistakes. And with that, they build up their self-esteem. If they mess up, we show them how to clean up. And that also helps their confidence because, you know, then they're not afraid to do things because they know if they should go wrong, they know how to correct it. And then children are allowed to work with the activities that they're interested in. Once they are allowed to do that, they don't really care whether you give them stickers or you give them or you tell them good job or not. They're not there for the external motivation because there is that inner drive in them. There is that inner joy in them that is, you know, making them explore and learn. You show them stars and you give them rewards. They're not really concerned. They just don't need it and they don't want it. And they achieve wonders by just doing, working with things that they're interested in. People then ask, if you're giving children all this freedom, will they not mess up? How will they learn on their own if they're not told what to do, how to do, you know, how, how, can, how can learning take place? 
Now, these freedom is given to the children within limits. So when a child comes into a Montessori classroom, an environment, the teacher or the directress, the Montessori directress, then tells the children, children, now all these materials are there for you to use and you have the freedom to choose what you want and what you want to, you know, work with and for how long you want to work with. But there are certain rules that we have to follow and the children are okay with the rules. Why? Because they know that if they follow the rules, they have this, you know, they're able to do so many things and they love the environment. So they, they have this natural tendency to want to follow rules. Of course, the rules are also something that, you know, they, they understand. So they're very simple rules like, you know, we don't run in the classroom. We place back materials after use so your friends can use it and things like that. So when children are not told what to do, not scolded, not forced to do anything that they don't want, and they're given all this freedom, then they continue to explore in their own way. And this desire to learn, the drive that they are actually born with, they have that inner drive to want to learn and to do wonderful things. They do it without expecting any rewards. They don't even need the rewards. Actually, we as adults, we also, we also work the same way. We have the same thing that happens to us. So if you just imagine, okay, if you have this desire to cook or to bake something in the kitchen, say, and then you start taking all these ingredients from the shelf and you start to put it together and then someone overlooks you on your shoulder and keeps telling you what to do, how to do, this is what you must uh, do and after you finish, please clean up and keep and the, you know, that voice keeps coming in and someone is constantly looking at you and, and telling you what to do, then the joy of baking just disappears. You might bake that one cake, you might learn how to make that one cake, but then you won't want to do it again because it's too much trouble with someone overlooking you. And well, in future, if someone says, you know what, I'll give you some money, can you bake that cake for me? You might do it because that is an external motivation, but you will not have that internal motivation to want to do it yourself. However, let's imagine a different scenario now. You have this kitchen, I lend you my kitchen, and my kitchen is very beautiful. And I tell you, you can do whatever you want with it, because once, but once you finish, you just have to place it back as, as it was. And you start to bake, and there's no one bothering you, no one telling you what to do, and you start making this, baking this cake. And then, you know, you've, you feel that immense joy in being able to achieve something. And then you will want to learn more, learn different types of cakes. You might bring in other recipes and you might try different things as well. That the process itself is so, becomes such a joyful thing for you that you want to continue to explore and to learn as well. So that is exactly the same thing with children. So once you give them that environment and you can't go wrong because the material, every material teaches them a lot of things. They allow for creativity as well. And when children are given that space and that time, they focus and their concentration level just increases and they learn so much. So even if someone does not tell, you know, good job or give any stars or stickers or something, Montessori children, they're not really concerned. If they're happy in the environment and they're allowed to do what they need to do, they're allowed to fulfill that inner drive, then they will be able to achieve wonders and they don't need external or extrinsic motivation. It's better for us to start to help them to develop internal motivation right from the early years. So that's all for now. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in the comment box and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye for me.